Just tip your riders, bro. Oh. I agree. 150, add to their docket, uh, makes a lot of difference. What, what, what's up, what's up bro? You're listening to Randomly Relatable SG. Where we talk about random things you relate to. One last question for me, like personally, is the what do you think of the stereotype that I was I was telling you about just now about dispatch riders? Stereotype. What was the stereotype? Huh? Like there's no career progression, you know, people. Yeah, because there are some people who are doing it like mm. as a like as, as a, a full time as a full time. Yeah, yeah. I mean, they right? really hustle. Not gonna lie, they can actually earn. Mm. But I mean, of course, uh, not everyone, not all the riders out there have diff- have like other skills. Yeah. You know, basically they that's. That's the only way for them to like earn money for their family. Mm. So I I think it's I mean you want to do this you can but it's it's not for everyone. Mm. Yeah, it's not for everyone. Like I have friends who wanted to do this, you know. Then when they realize that, hey bro, I I think I cannot say I do this, you know. When mm. they started join, they they realize like this is not for them, you know. What do you think about younger people, especially you know younger people maybe like because now you can even do grab food with bicycle, right? Mm-hmm. At thirteen years old, fourteen years old can do already. See? What do you think of these kids doing doing grab food? I mean, at least they are not doing other illegal stuff. That's true. You know, That's at least true. they are earning money. Earning money the halal, la. the halal, halal way, the correct way. You know, but of course, when you're cash, when you're doing dispatch, you would mix around with older people, right? And mm. someone you would do, you have a reason to stay out late and stuff like yeah. that. Do you think that's good? Mm. I mean, it all depends on the person itself. And yet, uh, like if you want to be good, you can be good. You know, you can. I have hang out with bad people mm. I guess <laughs> but I always see them as nice you know mm. but it's mm. me myself I know like what's right what's wrong so maybe may, may, maybe where Shreem was going where it's about your surrounding right yeah so not, not, not gonna lie uh, when I was working uh, dispatch in, in Pizza Hut mm. uh, oh, outmost out respect for for, 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 for for my team over there for, for my team for, for, for the team your over colleagues there, the, the colleagues over mm-hmm. there I really respect them they, they work halal for 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 yeah, themselves family. and their family, but um, me as a, a student. student NSF at, at that point of time, like I was worried that like it's very comfortable. Mm. It's, it's it's very comfortable that 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 surrounding that, that, that I have the, the environment that I have, mm-hmm. and also the environment which I'm, it it didn't push me in a way and it wasn't Challenge like, you. challenging me in 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 a certain way that. Uh, to, to, make, uh, to, to make myself be better. Mm-hmm. So, Sh- Sh- Shuran was saying that... Uh, For younger, impressionable people, eh? mm. like maybe 15, 16, and then like you're in the environment, then that's all you know. And then like... They'll be contented. They'll be contented and then don't want to achieve more. You know, because so basically, they're, they're in a comfort zone. Uh. Comfort zone. But and, uh. and not really comfort because they work very hard. Mm. Then like mm. they, they ask the... Other abang abang others how, how much you make. Because you make... Uh, your, your goal is... 250 a day. 250 a day. Mm. That's a lot for... Uh, 200k. I, I, I don't know the math of 250, but 200 a day, that's 4k a month if you work five days a week. Mm. Yeah. So, that's 4k a month. For a 15, 16 year old, that's <laughs> just a lot of money. It's a lot of money, bro. For yeah. some people, our age or even older, don't even make 4k a month. Mm. That, yeah. That's a degree holder pay. Mm. And things like that. But then, 150 is 6k a month. Yeah. That's mm. a lot. But I think if they are actually doing, you know, this job, they... Sh- they themselves should know that it's a very, very difficult. They have difficult to achieve that target. Mm. Not, yeah, not every day you can achieve that. Because mm. there might be days you get lesser, then you will want to catch up on the next day. Mm. But sometimes that day next also day you also might cannot. not. Yeah, you also cannot. It's very hard. It's not not you won't achieve it like it's not like a full time job where yeah. you're gonna get paid monthly. You know, it's the same Regardless. amount and all that. It's not if you work, you work. And if you fall sick, it's more worse. Yeah, yeah, you know? yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Uh, like uh, re- regarding the. <clears throat> impression thing impressionable mm. uh, so no 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 the stereotype stereotype, stereotype okay. I, I, I think now after COVID and, and like right now like after freaking 6 years 7 years of, of dispatch being in Singapore after freaking delivery IPO in London and stuff like that mm. now only people know that oh it's not it's not just nang sir. it's not uh, it's not people suddenly like maybe they, they get older then they realise that oh rain mm. well, uh Rain, she must deliver, what? Yeah. yeah. Rain, hot. Super things, I see. Then after that, the, the, the speed that you must deliver, you're basically running, bro. Yeah. yeah. Uh, you're basically mm. running for, for your bike, go up, come down, then then, then you, you must navigate your way all through. That. It's, it's difficult. It's difficult. And, and making money now 
it's not as easy as last time. Yeah. Last time got the power of dollars. Mm-hmm. Then uh, per per docket seven mm. stuff ah. Uh. Yeah. But now it's very difficult and people appreciate and like they understand ah. Uh. Especially during COVID lah. Uh. I there, there was this one guy right, the food panda rider yang wave kat belakang the yeah. national day punya tu right. Yeah. I think he became like from then people started like realizing especially Singaporeans they started realizing hey these guys are important like, especially during COVID without them we got no foods yeah. So the note that negative stereotype I I feel no more already. I feel it should be gone lah. Yeah, uh, sure. I, I really feel no more the and like. Uh, I don't think it's so much a negative stereotype. I think it's more like like concern. Concern like these that, people that, are concerned no that there's no progression eh. mm, instead of like oh dispatch. You know, it's more like are they gonna do this forever? And like, is that like a good career option? Especially not? for younger people, lah. Yeah, yeah. Mm. actually, of any age, lah. I think like once, like maybe. Because like maybe when you're a certain age, 21, 22, 23, what, what, whatever age, like older already, right? You already know in your mind what's wrong and right and this, yeah. is what's, this is what's for you. But I'm talking about a 15, 16 years old where they haven't even explored life yet. And then this is the first thing that they see, they get comfortable and then that's all. That's all they know and that's all they want to do for the rest I of get, their life. I get your, you know what I mean? Your... Yeah. So I'm afraid of the younger people. Uh. Yeah. But I, I'm very happy that uh, the dispatch companies mm. are pushing uh, basically for their education. Uh. Mm, right, yeah. like, like, like pushing courses, pushing. They uh, are. Yeah, yeah, they are. Yeah. How? Oh, eh? They have like, like you can use the money you earn from the grab and all that, and you can so go like apply. For yeah, apply for courses wow. and all that. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. Uh, that's good. That's good. That's there, really there, good. There's a recent article where a grab driver is right now a coder a, a digital a computer scientist. A computer. Like, a coder. Coder. Yeah. Uh, it's, it's a very computer very, engineer. Computer engineer. Sorry. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, 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 yeah. Computer engineer. So, so it's a very famous article. So that's how grab is actually. Pushing. Helping. Uh, it's not fucking ad lah. But yeah lah. So like, mm. like Grab is actually pushing and helping their, their fellow riders, workers, <laughs> uh, fellow riders upgrade themselves. Mm. Oh, that's um, good. Yeah, that's good. That's good. I didn't know about this. Is yeah. that a Grab movement or a government movement? Huh? I, I feel it's a company movement. It's not a government yeah. movement. Yeah, but I think because they're starting to realize a lot of younger people and like uh, entering this and then they should at least have this pathway, yeah. this option for them, you know, is to it, upgrade themselves. Is it discounted or like, it's just like, they give you like a wallet to like save up? So, I'm you not know. sure. I, 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 I received the notification but I never pressed on it before. <laughs> but I know there is such thing. Yeah. Interesting, ah, interesting. Okay, okay. Yeah. You should go and search that up. Yeah. Alright, I think that's, I think that's, that's the la. end of the podcast. Do you have man. anything else you want to say? Uh, I mean, just thank you guys for inviting <laughs> me, I guess. <laughs> I, I have one last thing to say. Okay. Just tip your riders, bro. Oh. oh, I agree. 150 add to their docket uh, makes a lot of difference. One dollar yes. also, right? Yes. Like, Just tip your riders. Yeah, and any, any amount also. It will, it'll, because sometimes it will their, 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 their docket is very weird. 420 kind of thing. You yeah, top especially for 50 cents, uh, cyclists. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, everything else. Uh, sedaps, uh. Mm. That's 150, 2 dollars, 250. Just tip your riders. Uh. Nice. Uh. Yeah. yeah. But we are not expecting it. La, but if you... No, you can. <laughs> Why not, right? It's just one dollar, lah, bro. You can afford fifteen dollar meal from McDonald's when you can just walk. Just top t- about one dollar, lah. Don't post it, nah. Don't post it, bro. I, I, I like very uh, touch every time. Like I want to give tip, and then they like, no, 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 no it's okay, okay. They like, hey, no, 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 take, take, take. They like, oh, so cute. Yeah. <laughs> I like very nice when they yeah. do that. I think we all do that, right? It's massa. If you mean if I can, <laughs> that if I can talk to all the riders out there, like we all do that, right? We all act malu, you know, don't want to take. And now in the heart, like I'm big, je lah. <laughs> <laughs> you pernah like step malu, then dorang ambil balik ah. Okay, okay, never mind lah. Eh, hey, but I thought you want to give me. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you don't be broke, broke si cool. Like you want to step malu, then you look at the hand, mira. Oh, you saw the dollar. <laughs> No, 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 Okay, I changed my name on TikTok because when I first make that account, I don't want people to know about me. Uh, I didn't even know that. It wouldn't make a lot of difference, huh? No, Bukai. I mean, <laughs> like, I just wanted to like, post for fun. Case like, macam anonymous. <laughs> yeah. But I didn't expect it to like, satu letter, uh, <laughs> like, oh shit, you know? Okay, okay. Bukai, right? B-U-K-H-A-I-R-I-D-E. 
Yes. Thank you so much, Bukari, for coming right. to this podcast. You're uh, welcome. You, you, you gave guys. a lot of insight on uh, this uh, Dispatch Riders Live and like how you started and of course TikTok lah. Um, so if, if y'all haven't, haven't followed follow us on our social medias, it is randomly relatable underscore SG on Instagram, on YouTube, it is randomly relatable SG, and on Telegram, it is randomly relatable SG community where you can talk to everyone and, and about anything and everything. So. Thanks for coming all the way to the end of the podcast and we'll catch you on the next podcast. Bye-bye. Bye.